what is going on guys welcome to your 39th HTML5 tutorial and in this lesson what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working with text and shadows two awesome things that we can do on the canvas in HTML5 so in order to add text what we need to do is we need to access the font function now what this does is it's basically not a function but a property and if this looks familiar what I'm about to type it's because we learned all of this stuff whenever we were working with CSS3 it takes all of the same properties just put bold 36 pixels and whatever font you want like Tahoma you love Tahoma gotta love Tahoma so now what you do is now whenever you write font on your canvas this is the style of the font and I'm actually gonna change that to 36 because for some reason whenever I'm working with font I don't like odd numbers I like even numbers so another thing that we can do is we can put canvas text align and we can write something like end right here now this basically aligns your text to whenever you make your text later on you can give it an ending position so let me go ahead and write this next line of code and then I can explain everything very simple so canvas in fill text now I want to mention this you can make stroke text which basically takes the text and makes the outline of it and you can also make fill text now fill text is just a text that you're familiar with already it's a text that's filled in so let me go ahead and this takes two parameters well actually it takes three parameters but it takes what text you want to be in I'll just put OMG WTF barbecue that is what text is gonna appear drawn on the screen and now I said the second parameter which is the position but it's technically two more parameters X and Y position so I'll just stick this at 300 and 100 so let me go ahead and save this and refresh it and check it out like I said this is fill text basically just plain text with a solid color and let me go ahead and write stroke real quick and show you guys the difference it's basically the outline of the text so that's the difference two different styles of text fill text and stroke text so let me go ahead and change back to fill because now I want to talk to you guys about shadows and if you add a shadow to stroke text it actually looks kind of weird because you can kind of see through the text and you know you don't want that so anyways moving on let me go ahead and show you guys how to draw a shadow now you want to draw your shadow before you draw your text because remember computer programs work from the top down so if you draw your text and then you say okay and then I want a shadow it's gonna say too late buddy you already drew the text I'm done with that crap so let's go ahead and on the canvas go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys all the properties you can work with shadows shadow offset X and what this is going to do is how far because you don't want your shadow directly under your text you want it kind of slid over and down a little bit so how much of an offset do you want well just make it four pixels right like that and actually that's not how you do it what am I doing you put four pixels just like that because offset X is a property so if that confuses you guys that's why you know whenever it's a property then you set it equal to a value whenever it's a function then a function can take parameters so maybe I should have explained that <laughs> like in the first tutorial but hey you know it's better late than never so now I'm just gonna go ahead and add an offset of Y so this is whenever we set our shadow it's gonna be shifted to the right a little bit which is four pixels and it's gonna be shifted down a little bit four pixels so that's what shadow offset X and Y means so now what I'm gonna do is copy this canvas because I'm way too lazy to type it And the next property we want to work with is shadow blur not blue blur maybe we'll make the shadow blue who knows so what the shadow blur is a shadow isn't just an exact duplicate of your shape copy to the right and down a little bit it has kind of a blur if you ever walk outside and you see your shadow on the ground it isn't like a perfect silhouette that looks like someone just painted it it's kind of blurry on the edges so how much of a blur do we want to use well let's go ahead and put six right there because I happen to know that six looks pretty good but depending on what you're doing you know what kind of website you're making there's like no set value that's like okay this is a good value this is a bad value it depends on how big your shape is and just what kind of look you're going for so for now I'm just gonna add a blur of six and now canvas shadow color now even though when you walk outside your shadow is always the same color kind of like a dark 
kind of like a light black, I guess. Well, in HTML5, not the case because, you know, we can make shadows red, green, blue if we want. How awesome would that be if you could go outside and you can make your shadow red for the day? Pretty effing sweet. But now, since we accidentally typed shadow blue in here, let's go ahead and just make the shadow blue because, hey, it must be fate, right? So, RGBA, it has four values. The first value is the red, green, and blue. I said the first value is the red, green, and blue, but that's really the first three values. Now, if we want to make a blue shadow, what we need to do is red is zero, green is zero, blue, let's just go ahead and pump this up to 255, which is the maximum amount we can have for blue. Now, this A right here is the alpha or the transparency. If we have one, then it's going to be totally opaque, not transparent at all. So let's go ahead and give it 0.5, which means that the shadow is going to be kind of see-through. So let me go ahead and save this and refresh it and see what we got. We got a nice blue semi-transparent shadow. Now again, check it out. It kind of fades off and it's moved slightly to the right and down a little bit. So it has an offset X of Y and an offset Y, or excuse me, well, you can see. Anyways, what these two lines of code mean right now is it shifted over and down four pixels each. Now when we gave it a blur of six, that just means that the blurriness level, which whatever they decided the blurriness level was, was six. If we dump, bumped it up to like 16 or something like that, let's go ahead and check it out. Now it's really blurry, so blurry that you can hardly even tell there's a shadow there. So just keep that in mind whenever you're designing websites. And last but not least, what we did is we made it blue and gave it an alpha value of 0.5, which made it semi-transparent. So with all that, we learned how to add text on the screen and also how to add a shadow to, and this shadow doesn't only apply to text, but any shape that you want to make. And remember, if you want to make a different shape with a different shadow, then you need to set all these properties again. So from this point forward, any shape you draw, it's going to have this shadow on it. So if you're getting, you know, coming across that prom, that's why. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.